Hi, my name is Francesco Ricci and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the Mori effect both from the lightness and the color informations between uh, because this Mori effect leaves um, in the colors we can see some color variations in this Mori we see some some bands of green and uh, magenta, so sometimes cyan and uh, red, sometimes blue and yellow, orange. And we see also some lightness variations. And this is may maybe more difficult to, to remove. In this method, I didn't create anything uh, indeed. I just thought to combine some old school method and uh, some new one. So there are m different techniques put together. We have to treat these, uh, these issues, this issue uh, separately, first in the lightness and then in the color. So I duplicate the layer twice. In this uh, second layer, I'm going to call it color. I convert it to, into a smart object object. And I give, a, I give it a, a camera raw filter. Camera raw filter. I just put the, I just get a, a, a brush and with the mask on, I go to paint in any, any place, any area in which I see the, the Mori effect. So I just paint with this mask on so I can see where I'm painting. I turn the mask off and I just zoom a bit to see the um, Mori effect reduction. I pull it up, I increase it, these values almost between uh, 50 and, seven and 60. Yes, maybe 60, 59. Okay, so as you can see, the green and magenta is disappeared. All that remains now is the lightness issue. So I click OK. Now, this uh, this stuff, this op operation, this adjustment, um, I leave it just for for the final for the final touch as a final touch of the of the technique. So I um, disable this layer, and now I work beneath, because now I want to concentrate on the on just on the lightness issue. But in order to work properly and to remove completely this issue from the lightness values in this particular image i have to i have first to see the mori effect more so to make it i have to make it more visible because now is isn't it's not so visible it's not that much visible yeah if i zoom in i can see some green and the magenta and some cyan but um, it's not so visible because it, it leaves most in the, in the shadows. So I will open up the shadows with this layer. I will call this layer temporary because I will delete in the end. Now, in this temporary layer, I will, uh, I will give uh, another camera raw filter. So filter, camera raw filter. I zoom a bit and now I just open up the shadows in order to see it better. I want to see more detail, most, more stuff in, the, in these dresses. So I open up the shadows and I will increase the saturation as well because I want to see more this effect both in, in, uh, in the color and in the lightness. So. I will go to the calibration panel and I will go to increase the, the saturation of the blue primary, green and red and I will increase in the base panel some, some vivid, uh, some vibrance and some saturation a bit. So now I can see it more. I click OK. Now the Mori effect is way, way more visible. So, with this, 
I'm going to create another stamp visible layer with command shift option E or control with window, windows. Um, and now I will call this layer Luma or lightness. Okay, I convert this to into a smart object too. And now I just uh, make a double click in the thumbnail of the layer and I go to another document. Uh, it's gonna be a, a PSB document that will be attached to the previous file, to the original file. So this new document, I will turn it to mode 16-bit channels and uh, again image mode color lab color lab i'm sorry for this version of photoshop because this is in italian as you can see but i'm going to translate any any word any function in english maybe i forgot to say that this is a cut of a of a, a picture taken by Michael Messing. Okay, so now this new document, as we can see in the, um, in the channels, is uh, in, in lab mode, LAB mode. This is the lightness channel, this is the A channel, and this is the B channel. And we can see the moire in the A channel, in the B channel, in the lightness. But now we're, we're going to concentrate just in this particular channel, the lightness channel. And uh, as we can see, we see a black and white image with um, the lightness more in the dress. And I want to remove it just from here. So in order to do it, I will use an old school technique uh, for the more removal. That is gonna be an apply me in an apply image within the lightness channel. So in this lightness channel, sorry, I first duplicate the layer. I duplicate the layer, the background layer, and now I go to the lightness channel. In this lightness channel of the duplicate layer, I go to image, apply image, and I put the blend mode overlay sovrapponi in italiano this is the overlay blend mode and now i will try to overlay a, a or b channel inverted or original or normal uh, in order to see when this effect is going to disappear so i try first with the a channel but inverted because in this way, it's even more visible. I have to remove the, this effect now from the lightness channel. So I try with the A channel inverted. And as you can see immediately, this effect is, uh, seems to disappear fast from the lightness channel. With the, with the preview button, I can see we don't care about the, the hands, the skin, because we can mask it out. We have to concentrate all, um, only in the dress. We can play around with the, with the opacity, but I think in this case 100% can be good. So I, I click OK, and now I give it another apply image but this time not with the A channel, but with the B channel. Just a try, I just give it a try. And it's even better. Now it's even better with, um, with the B channel always in the overlay and the inverted. Okay, now it's even better. I click okay. And uh, with this dupli uh, duplicate layer, I can see the before and after. 
the whole effect in the lightness channel before after it's way way better as you can see in this black and white image if you think we can go forward we can do more in this lightness channel we can duplicate the layer again create another stamp visible layer we can go again in the lightness channel and we can give a try by masking just these only these areas for example i can see that in some parts of the picture there are still some little more effect so again image apply image we can try again with the b inverted channel or with the a let's do a preview well in this case I think this this part of the dress can benefit this not in the right in the in the left but in the right this part can be yes can be better let's see in the pants mm, no no so this can be useful only for this part of the jacket I click OK I create a mask and I go with the brush just here OK I go again in the, the lightness channel and I can see the before and after okay now I can duplicate again create another stamp visible layer go to the lightness channel and uh, we can see if we can do some more in these just in this part of the jacket but now it just if you want to, s to be very 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 precise so um, I go to image apply image again we can try again with the A or with the B channel <laughs> we can zoom out and we can play around with the opacity now yes yes maybe it's better 60% maybe yes okay I create a black an inverted mask black mask and uh, I paint just in this area okay I go again to check the lightness channel and I think it's better okay now all I can do is just saving this channel this this document I just click uh, command S to save file save just save and this document will will be saved as a PSD uh, PSB file attached to the original one so now I can close it now I'm in the the original file again and uh, we can see we don't need the temporary layer more anymore we can group these two layers and we'll call the group more I take this temporary layer off now in order to remove the the moiré from the color too I will just enable this this layer this color layer with the in which we use the 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 camera raw filter with the brushes and I just change the blend mode of this layer in the color so now as you can see this Mori effect is disappeared from the color too now all that remains is masking the skin out 
because we don't need a skin in this in this stuff so we create a mask here um, I can do with the color range selecting the skin okay and uh, masking out from the create a black mask um, mask from the yes from this uh, this group okay maybe from the eyes too I can take the, um, the burn tool make black completely black these parts okay and now the Mori effect is disappeared but you can say that the, the dresses are way way more <laughs> bright than uh, than the original than the before so all we need to do here is to create maybe a curve or maybe down this a curve or I can just create in this lightness layer smart object I, I can create another um, uh, camera raw filter so filter camera raw filter and this time I will try to reduce the shadows so I'll do the opposite that I did in the in the beginning I go to the curve and I put this midtones down a bit I click OK and uh, as you can see the image looks again like the before like, like the previous like, like the original shot but just with no more more effect at all it's completely gone as you can see from this part of the jacket from this part from the the pants I don't know if the resolution is high enough to see but I can I can say that it's gone you may use the the FS 2.2.0 um, it can be good but this this method maybe I don't know for me is more funny <laughs> maybe so I hope this can be useful for for somebody and uh, if you have any question you can contact me see you next time bye